guys and welcome back well you remember the uh handwritten will that was allegedly by aretha franklin which was found in her couch after 2018 death well a jury came in today and said that it is valid now this is a critical turn in a dispute that has turned her sons against each other. Mm. Now, it's a victory for Kikau, and I know I'm not saying that correctly, but Kikau Franklin and Edward Franklin, whose lawyers had argued that the papers dated in 2014 should override a 2010 will that was discovered around the same time in a locked cabinet at the Queen of Souls home in suburban Detroit. Now the jury deliberated less than an hour after a brief trial that started on Monday. Now after the verdict was read, Aretha Franklin's grandchildren stepped forward from the first row to hug uh, Kikalf and Edward. I'm very, very happy. I just wanted my mother's wishes to be adhered to, uh, Kikalf Franklin said, which that is Aretha's uh, baby boy. Now, we just want to exhale right now. It's been a long five years for my family and my children. Now, as you remember, Aretha Franklin did not leave behind a formal typewritten will when she died five years ago at age 76. But both documents was with scribbles and hard to decipher passages suddenly emerged in 2019 when a niece scored the home for records. Now, now in closing arguments, lawyers uh, for two of Franklin's sons said there's nothing legally significant about finding handwritten papers in a notebook in her couch. It's inconsensual. You can take your will and leave it on the kitchen counter. It's still your will. Now, Kikaf and Edward which is uh, Kikaf is Aretha's uh, baby boy, and Edward is her second-born child, uh, had teamed up against brother Ted White, who favored the 2010 will. Now, White's attorney, Kurt Olson, noted that 2010 will was under lock and key. He said it's much more significant than papers found in a couch. Now, Franklin's estate managers have been paying bills, settling millions in tax debt, and generating income through music royalties and other intellectual properties. The will dispute, however, has been unfinished business. Now, there are differences between the 2010 and the 2014 versions, though they both appear to indicate that Franklin's fourth son would share income from music and copyright. But under the 2014 will, Kikaf Franklin and grandchildren would get his mother's main home in Bloomfield Hills, which was valued at $1.1 million when she died, but is worth much more today. Now, the older will said Kikaf, 53, and Edward Franklin, 64, must take business classes and get a certificate or a degree to benefit from the estate. Now, the provision is not in the 2014 version. Now, White, who played guitar with his mother, Aretha Franklin, testified against the 2014 will, saying his mother typically would get important documents done conventionally and legally and with assistance from an attorney. Now, Franklin was a global star for decades, known especially for hits like Think and uh, Say a Little Prayer and Respect. Yes, and she was uh, noted and given the name the Queen of Soul. Ah, yeah, it's it's just so bad. And this is not a example of you got to have your will a put. You got to do your will while you're living. Uh, I tell you, I don't know what it is because I mean. It's sad how uh, brothers are turning against each other because of this we these wheels. But, you know, jury said, hey, that 2014 wheel that she scribbled, that is the one that's going to be in effect. And that's the one that uh, they are going to adhere to. You know, Aretha, uh, you know, she had um, cancer. And she was sick for a while. It wasn't like, uh, you know, she just 
uh, took ill all of a sudden and died. I just don't know for the life of me. I wonder why she just didn't uh, make a will. She had much time. And I mean, her whole family died from cancer. I mean, she's seen her sisters pass away from cancer, her brothers. Her, you know, she's seen, you know, death was not uh, rare in her family. I mean, I, I, I believe most of her family died uh from cancer and for her just to not you know her her attorney her a long time attorney said that he pressured her for years to to make a will but she would not do it mm, and i just just don't understand why she didn't i mean it, it wasn't like uh you know she even though, you know, she was, she had cancer for a while, which she denied, you know, when uh, someone, I, I forgot what star, I don't know if it was Dionne Warwick, or someone came out and said that, you know, she was, the star was falling ill and uh, uh, wasn't looking good. And, you know, her publicist came out and said, no, Aretha's doing fine. And, I, you know, and I, I don't understand. A lot of stars do that. They don't want their... Um, illness to be known and but you know that's okay to keep that private but not to make a will and you know mm, I don't understand especially when you got something when you got assets like Aretha had you know <laughs> but uh I hope the family can find some closure in this uh, uh new uh, verdict that came out today and I hope they can you know, patch this up and, 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 and be the brothers that, you know, brothers should be tight, brothers should be cool, should, brothers should be, you know, and I hope the family get back together. That's, that's, that's what I hope and pray. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, what do y'all think about this? Uh, just press that comment button and we shall discuss. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always important, be blessed, y'all.